As parents, we all want the best for our babies and what they eat is a really important part of their health and their development. Weaning is when we start to introduce more foods into babies, lots of different textures, lots of different tastes. The nice thing is that we don't need to spend a lot of money on special foods for weaning babies. You can actually make what your baby needs from your usual family meals. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is how to adapt just as normal family dinner, which is in this case chicken and potatoes and carrots, for the three different stages of weaning. We're going to start with the carrots here. So what you do is you cook your carrots but make them nice and soft and remember not to add any salt. When you have the carrots then you're going to pop them into a little container and then use a hand blender to blend them down nice and smooth. Now you will need to add a little bit of the liquid that you cook the carrots in so that you can get it really really nice and smooth. You're looking for something like this which is no lumps and it's like a smooth custard kind of slightly runny. You might make it a little thinner at the very beginning but this should be fine for most babies. Stage two is when we're starting to get more texture into the food for babies and we're going to use the whole meal here. So we're going to use the potatoes, the carrots and the chicken all mashed up together. Chop up the chicken a little bit with the carrots, pop it into a blender, roughly blend it. You don't want it down to a puree and then mash the potatoes separately and you can mix everything together. And at the end, it's going to look a little bit like this and you can see that the texture here is much thicker than for stage one. Stage three of weaning is really about getting a lot more texture um, for the baby. So again, we're going to use the carrots and the chicken and the potatoes all together. And this is usually around nine months for babies. So we're going to mash up the carrots and the potato. This time we're not going to use the blender. We're not going to have a whole lot of liquid in here. And then when we've mashed up the carrots and potatoes, we're going to finally chop up the chicken and mix all of that in together. And so you're going to end up with a nice consistency. Just remember, for a lot of babies, they're not going to like everything the first time, so you're probably going to have to try even up to 16 times with different foods before babies are going to really be comfortable with them. 